Well, that's true. Oh, no, I couldn't. You can't. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. That's C9. C9, yeah. This is fun for if you already know the pedal steel. Just tune in. It's like the top eight strings of a. I used to rock you know, up the new. You, know, <laughs> you mean to go down the scale? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, it's like. Uh, I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, you got the A and B part. Yeah. Uh, this this is a C6. The one I was playing a little while ago was a G6. 
This is like the back neck of the seal. Let's check this. Can you play steel or dobro? A little bit of dobro. Yeah. Very little. <laughs> I just bought a beard guitar last year. Last Christmas to Christmas before. This is a surprise because I've been bugging for 20 years for one and she just surprised me anymore. So now I've been banging on it for trying to figure out how to play it. Thanks. <laughs>
talking about or an individual? Yeah, just a... <coughs> yeah, I should know that. I don't. Mark, I'll show you Eric Clark. You're going right. to be around I'll all be that? here all weekend, man. Oh, you, did you decide to play on the show? I played a couple of tunes last night. Uh, are you going to play again, though? I don't think so. Uh, Albert Talley asked me to play at some point, but I don't know if that's going to actually happen. It's pretty full up. You know. <laughs> My dad passed away and he left me the farm and she said we have 50 acres of hard maple sugar bush on the farm. And she said my husband is a cabin maker and he took 12 of the rotten trees that had fallen down and pulled them back to his shed and she said he's got a whole bunch of wood back there and it's all sliced up. So she took him back to the wood shed and he's got a 30 by 30 shed, he's got a cement floor with hot water running through it. Uh, one of those hot water grips that uh, oh, right. keep everything heated. And he had all this wood piled up with, for a cabinet making it. She said, you take whatever you want. She said, I'd like to see you build him a guitar out of his own wood. So when I got back home, I, I took two boards that were that wide and about that thick of bird's eye maple. Took them back home and a friend of mine's got a big wide bandsaw. He's got a bandsaw that's that wide and he <coughs> resawed the wood. And I made a top in the back of the bird's eye. And I used the plywood bird sides. 
And when I got the thing all done, it was really, really loud. It was, I bet it was really, really bright, too, right? Um, to my ears, it was just loud. A friend of mine is, is a five-string banjo player, and he was in my house one night, and I just finished making it, and I said, pull your banjo out, I want to see how loud he says. <laughs> and he was playing five-string, and, and beside him, that dobro was still all the way up to him. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know if I'd done something right or wrong, but the sides are, are the birch with the mahogany neck from Paul and the top and the back are the other guy's wood. So. Yeah, it's hard to, I mean, like, you know, everything you do to them makes them sound different too. You know, yeah. like, however you braced it or... Uh, I, I put the down down sound hole. You put a sound well in it. Yeah, the sound well in it that Paul had sent me. Yeah. And all Paul's parts and everything on it except the top and back for... Oh, oh, the, the size and the neck were <coughs> all stuff. Yeah. yeah. The size were balls, the neck was balls, all the hardware was balls. Everything was balls except the top and back. And I made it of the same thickness as the uh, plywood was. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't open it up right around. I, I've always found maple is a little, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. A little I'm bright. Sure. You know, it, I'm sure it was louder than. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Is that your guitar right there? Still? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, it used to be getting a jam session with the dobro, nobody could hear the dobro. Now they can hear They're it. They're getting louder, <laughs> yeah. But that one you just put down, does it have a round sound hole? Or no, these hold? all have, uh, they have uh, baffles in there. But, they have but, baffles? Yeah, but that was an eight string tuned to a C, so it makes it sound a little thin. But it's in the six string. Okay. That's what mine sounded like. Yeah. But what I like about this is it's, it's real balanced. You know, in other words, you can get up here. You know, it's got a lot of sweetness to it. And it also can, you know. Got it all to me. It's very, very well balanced. A lot of maple guitars, to my ear, they're they're harsh when you get up here. You know, it's real. It's like it hurts your ears a little bit. Yours might not. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying my experience with maple guitars that I've owned is like, hey, I can't stand to play up here. Are they are those posts in there or is it a nice baffle? That's a round. No, no, it's not a it's not a, a sound well is what you do. That's the way they used to make them in the 30s with sound wheels. So that one's got posts got, in? No, it's just got a baffle across the ear, like, you know, so that it, you, you can get a better, uh, I think, better bass response. Just a baffle? Yeah. Is it like a half a sound wheel? It's like a half a C, you know, part of a C shape that's under here. Is there holes through to let the no, Well, there's holes on each side. That's only part of it. There's like six or eight little things that go into to the, making it balanced like yeah. it is, you know. And part of it is that is birch plywood. You know, I mean, Paul makes, uh, he loves making guitars out of real fancy wood because it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Um, but to me, they always were like, they just, they didn't have that. Yeah, that Jerry Douglas over there don't sound good as this one. <coughs> I think it's a little, a little harsh. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's the Bill Brooks sound better. Yeah, I do too. Of course, this is mine, so I would. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just oh, your good. Good. <laughs> it's just you your name on it. <laughs> I got one with your name too. Yeah. You want back? <laughs> is that lacquer finish on that? Uh, it's poly, polyurethane. Polyurethane, right. Okay.
play many hymns? As long as resonant. You do the yeah. Do the maiden's prayer. Oh, I just did maiden's prayer a minute ago. Remember? That's yeah. it. Uh, no, no, no. I don't. I, you I mean, don't do uh, maiden's prayer. I mean, uh, how great the heart. <laughs> oh, you know, I I do do that. I, let me. I better not. Well, I don't. Let me have that six string. <laughs> I, I want. <laughs> Well, I don't want to tune, retune your guitar. Oh. I want to tune it to D. This is really. I love playing Maiden's Prayer. I mean, uh, I break the heart. I break the heart in D tune. I know you play Maiden's Prayer because I asked you for it. Yeah. I wouldn't call Maiden's Prayer much of a hymn either. No, no, just no. no. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're the Maiden. <laughs> uh, As uh, Bill Vernon said, I love this. He was doing it. Bill Vernon was a writer. He used to be in. He died a few years ago. But he, he said, when this guy finished doing Maiden's Prayer, she was the lady <coughs> of the night. <laughs> <laughs> you tuned down for the... I tend to... D I like that song in yeah. D. Yeah. String down to uh, what would that be? Uh, an A, I guess. Uh, so this yeah. would be G. Be D, D, F, and A, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. And there's a D. I'll keep the D's where they were. Turn the fifth string down to an A. Turn the sixth string down to a D on the bottom. An octave under that. stays at D and D. the fourth stays at D. Yeah. But you tune the second string from a B down to an A. Yeah. And this one from a G down to an F. Yeah. And then this, this one, the fifth string, you tune from a B down to an A just like you did this. <coughs> and you tune this an octave under the fourth string. That one. Other little up. tunes in that tuning. Tune, do what? Other little songs in that tuning. Uh, a few. Uh, it's a little limiting to yeah. me. Yeah, you know, stuff like. Uh,
but the thing is confusing is everything you do yeah, with G tuning is inside. You know, like all this stuff that you would do that on the first or second string, now you do it in here. You play all the same.